What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I wanted to show you a couple of cool shortcuts to add to your Samsung keyboard because for me, they were missing and they're really, really easy to add and they add a ton of functionality to your keyboard. They're, so they're like super useful and they make using the keyboard just that much more enjoyable. And I would guess a lot of people don't even change the default keyboard on their Samsung keyboard. They usually probably just keep it a Samsung keyboard and don't do anything with it. So I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks that I do on here, uh, on here to make it that much better for you. So let's do it. So the first thing you wanna do is swipe down from the top, hit the gear in the top right to go to settings. Once you're in settings, you wanna go down until you see the following. You wanna go down to general management and then where it says keyboard list and default, tap on that. Change your default keyboard if it's not already. Change it to Samsung keyboard. Now, if you click it, great. Otherwise, go back into default keyboard and you'll see Samsung keyboard. Hit the gear right next to it and it brings you into the Samsung keyboard. You can also just hit Samsung keyboard here and it basically brings you into the same thing. But what we're looking for is toolbar. So you're gonna go down here and you wanna make sure keyboard toolbar is turned on. So make sure you turn that on and then hit uh, your home button or whatever and go where you need to go. I'm just gonna go back to settings, but you wanna bring up your keyboard at this point. So I'm just gonna hit search right here. It brings up my keyboard. You wanna hit the three dots in the top right here. The main thing that I would definitely wanna add, it's grayed out right here, but we're gonna add it anyway. You're gonna see emojis. You know, you might have to swipe through here and look for it, but look for emojis press and hold on it, drag it to the top. I'd probably make it one of my first things to add. And I'm gonna show you what these do. The other thing you wanna do is clipboard. Clipboard is super, super useful. And I'd probably drag it maybe like the second to the last or something like that. Now there's other ones in here you might wanna to add too. Maybe you wanna add YouTube. Um, there's some other uh, Bitmoji and all that stuff. Maybe you wanna add those as well. Again, to make your experience with the keyboard better and more useful for you or translate or text editing. But regardless, when you're done, hit the back button. All right, so I'm gonna text message right now, for instance. I'm gonna hit the text message, I'm gonna break, which brings up my keyboard at this point. And here's the, the emoji button. So now I have all my emojis so I can easily find them. I can click through, look through what's on here. I can even search, so maybe I want watermelon or anything to do with water. You can see watermelon. So it helps out with searching for stuff and using these emojis it makes it so much easier. Cause again, for me by default, it's never ever there, like at the top anyway, at the toolbar. And it just makes it so much easier to use. So there's one thing. The other thing that's really, really cool bringing this up is the clipboard. Now I'm gonna click the clipboard button. What this does, this is gonna save all of anything you've ever copied uh, and pasted or whatever, or just copied and also taken screenshots of and it allows you to insert it really quickly with the click of a button. It basically does it for, I don't know how long, but maybe all time or whatever. Um, so whatever, maybe I want, I'll just choose this one. This is the top one. I choose this one and now I can send it. It's not gonna work, but because I don't have this connected to a network currently, but I could do that and send that picture to somebody or whatever, or if there's texted, uh, copied text in here. So I have one right here, I can tap on that and it puts in my copied text really simply so I don't have to remember it. So it's really, really cool. Another cool feature of this is that if you wanna delete something here, maybe you have something scandalous or a password saved or whatever in here, and you wanna delete the uh, copied image or the copied text, just hit the trash right here in the top right, go to what you wanna delete, tap on it, hit delete in the top right, hit delete again, and it gets rid of it for you. So there you guys go, there's a couple of tips and tricks for adding emojis and adding and, and working with the clipboard on your Samsung Galaxy keyboard. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.